The attack on Pearl Harbor was without question one of the most shocking and dreadful events in U.S. history. All eight battleships of the U.S. Pacific Fleet were sunk or badly damaged and over 320 U.S. aircraft were damaged or destroyed. The attack was a fatal blow to the country's military. And with over 1,100 men and women wounded and the deaths of over 2,300 American Navy, Army, and civilians altogether, the United States had no other choice but to declare war on Japan on the infamous day of December 7, 1941. The United States, however, wasn't completely in the dark about the attack. In the previous year and in the months leading up to the attack, tensions were rising between the United States and Japan. This feeling of distrust arose over land. Americans discovered through the cracking of secret messages that the Japanese planned to take over U.S. territory in the Philippines and French Indochina. Troops were sent to aid the resistance, and in July 1941, Roosevelt cut off oil shipments to Japan. Japanese Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto called for an attack on the U.S. Pacific Fleet in Hawaii. On December 6, the night before the attack, U.S. intelligence decoded a message pointing to Sunday morning as a deadline for some kind of Japanese action. The message was not under an urgent title, so there was no rush in the handing over of the information and it was delivered to Washington High Command before 9 a.m. Washington time, more than four hours before the attack on Pearl Harbor. The message was not forwarded, however, to the Pearl Harbor commanders and it finally arrived only after the attack had already begun. To say that the United States was caught completely off guard by the Japanese would be somewhat false. Intelligence did know that there would be an attack and when it would happen. Unfortunately, the exact location wasn't clear. Also, the soldiers, sailors, and marines were not informed, thus they were not prepared for the surprise assault at Pearl Harbor. But if the message was sent sooner, the soldiers, sailors, and marines would have been able to mobilize and set up a defense. Prepared or not, this wouldn't have affected the United States joining World War II, which was inevitable. With the people at Pearl Harbor and the U.S. fleet aware and ready, the naval forces would have been more than enough to overwhelm the Japanese forces and greatly decrease the number of casualties. The morning of December 7, 1941 wouldn't live in such infamy.